Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Competition Commission has released its final report on its findings and recommendations of the Data Services Market Inquiry. Natasha Wendell joins me to discuss the inquiry and the Commission's findings. Hi Natasha. Hi. When was this inquiry started and why? Um, in August 2017, the Competition Commission decided to launch this um, you know, sort of like an investigation into the data prices. This followed widespread calls by consumers. They, they were demanding lower data prices and they wanted to know why it, you know, the prices weren't drive, driven down considering that you know, we had competition in the market or presumably we had competition in the market then with Celsi and Telcom trying to tackle the two bigger MTN and Vodacom. Um, and it ended up being a whole data must fall movement. They gained a lot of traction. Um, it actually gained the attention of some of the ministers. Uh, eventually they decided, okay, they're going to have a look into this. They demanded an investigation um, into the di high data costs and then the affordability of, these, of the data. Um, then Economic Development Minister um, Ibrahim Patel um, initiated it. Um, he's now the Trade and Industry and Competition Minister. Um, they were looking to understand, obviously, what caused, what the actual root causes were for the high data costs and if they could be brought down, um, if there was any retail or ho wholesale, you know, challenges or inhibitors towards the data that's, that's so high. And then they were looking to try and make recommendations for what, what the industry can do, what government can do, um, if they had actually found anything from it. So the, com the Commission actually looked at strategic behaviours of the large uh, fixed and mobile incumbents, um, the costs and the profits of the players in the market, uh, infrastructure investments made by the operators, the allocation of spectrum, which is a critical one actually, and the impact of the current um, regula regulations. They also decided to benchma benchmark the cost of data services in South Africa against um, international peers, including Africa, and um, other similar countries to South Africa. What were the Commission's main findings and how does it plan to remedy the situation? Um, the findings did not put a good light on our mobile operators. Um, the report stated that the combination of a highly concentrated market and what are called a duopoly, you know, being Vodacom and MTN, um, actually result in excessively high data prices. Um, their benchmark activities and their profitability analysis actually say that the prices are too high, the, con the country performs poorly against its, its peers, that we're actually more on the expensive end. Um, the Commission obviously looked at the profitability of all the incumbents, or MTN and Vodacom, and then its smaller competition and they saw that there's actually high profitability and high margins um, over the costs in South Africa. Uh, that indicated that the costs um, or other factors across the countries cannot account for the actual high costs of data. The Commission also found that the pricing structures are anti-poor. They are, they lack a lot of transparency and they're actually too complex for the general population. They're actually trying to make it quite complex and it, sound, it comes out quite confusing that the, the consumer doesn't actually know what they're buying in the long run. The Commission also says that there is existence of extreme market power um, ineffective competition of, that is out late. There is also um, problems reflected in the wholesale markets as well as just the retail value chain. The Commission did find, however, that a lack of spectrum um, and cost-based facilities are actually driving up the costs as well. I mean, there has been a big argument around that. The mobile operators have been arguing that they need spectrum to lower the costs. So it has come out that, that it is actually driving up costs. Um, delays in the spectrum have actually left mobile operators in, in a bit of a bind when it comes to actually deploying more infrastructure. Um, and they've been trying to invest more to actually maintain the infrastructure they've got so that in order to provide the actual quality of network services. The Commission also says that enhancing um, facilities access and sharing can actually also substantially reduce the price um, of data in the market because that is currently a, a area which can actually enable a little bit more competition but there is persistent complaints um, around access to facilities and fair commercial terms. In terms of recommendations, the Commission has recommended certain 
um, strategies for immediate relief for consumers. Um, it's focused on data pricing um, and the structure of the pricing itself. So basically, they are asking for a reduction in data prices within two months. Um, the Commission says that there is scope for a 30 to a 50 percent reduction in prices. Um, they are also asking for a sort of like a, a lifeline package, or what the Commission calls a lifeline package, which is just free data, a certain amount of free data to every consumer to ensure that we are continually connected. Um, other recommendations are a reduction on the price differentials between prepaid and postpaid. At the moment, prepaid uh, is, is actually very anti-poor. Uh, the prepaid, the less um, megabytes you buy, the more you pay. And unfortunately, um, a lot of our consumers in South Africa can't just buy in bulk. So they're not actually getting access to the cheaper prices per megabyte. So the commission was recommending sort of an alignment between prepaid and postpaid, particularly for the sub 500 megabytes. Um, they also want a zero rating of public content um, for public benefits and education in particular. Um, they want to also introduce a reduction in roaming prices and um, mobile virtual network operators to below the retail prices charged so that they can try and stimulate a little bit more competition on that side, particularly for the smaller operators who are trying to compete with the bigger ones. Um, then also um, price transparency, they're looking to sort of push that through as well. Um, the implementation of alternate um, infrastructure for Wi-Fi, I mean obviously the higher end um, consumers are getting access to like fiber and you know, they actually have affordability for data in all sorts of fashions. They want to try and open that up now, particularly to the poor, to try and enable that. And then in order to make these changes, they're actually looking at some legislative changes. Um, anything that will be required to actually get these recommendations out, um, if it's possible. Then um, within uh, the next two weeks, um, Minister Patel will be actually taking this, the recommendations, the findings and recommendations through to Parliament and then we'll see from there what actually happens. How have the telecoms operators responded? Well, MTN and Vodacom in particular have argued that the comparisons of the findings are actually uninformative um, because they're not taking into account the cost and the quality of the networks um, across the countries, you know, comparing the spectrum, the access to spectrum, um, and then the quality of the networks in particular as well across the base. Um, They've also argued that the findings that they've put in, the comparisons, they involve headline 30-day um, tariffs. But the operators actually say that they should actually bring into the fold the promotions that they offer, the short validity bundles, and the free data, because that would be a better basis for an actual comparison. Um, obviously, Spectrum, that's a big one amongst um, the operators. They are arguing that Spectrum is one of the biggest inhibitors to actually lowering do data costs. Uh, and they said that obviously the delays have forced them to actually invest a lot more money to actually get ensure that the quality of the network stay the same as the spectrum runs out. Um, so they don't fully account, the, well, the operators say that the, the findings don't fully account for the actual impact the lack of spectrum is having on the industry. Um, MTN, for example, says you can't like actually foot, or you can't, MTN says that you can't actually place the blame solely at the foot of the operators because in their example now, they have been investing over 50 billion rand over the last few years just to make sure that their quality, um, their network quality doesn't go down because of the lack of access to spectrum. MTN actually said that the spectrum crunch um, means that the company has to invest uh, more than double per, per subscriber than what is seen on average with other fixed and mobile operators. Vodacom says that there actually is a significant difference in opinion between um, ICASA's findings and the Competition Commission's findings, um, in particular with relating to spectrum as well as other factors. They also say that, you know, from ICASA's analysis of the international mobile data prices, South Africa's prices are neither extreme or very low. So it seems to be average in relation to countries that are actually similar to South Africa um, across the board. Um, in terms of size and level of actual development. The Competition Commission states that it, pr it performs poorly uh, comparatively. 
Um, but both Vodacom and MTN are actually still going to review the findings and then I'm assuming we'll have more information from there. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.